Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Munch Moon from my friend uh, Cassie Armstrong. Oh, this is uh, super cute. Um, I remember, um, you know, Cassie talking about it. And I think it was, if I remember right, uh, and Cassie, if you watch this, you can put it in the comments. Um, I think it was, you know, like a popped in your head kind of thing. And then we were talking about, have you seen anything like this and all of that? And there are, uh, uh, well, I'll, we did a class and we shared it with, uh, you know, something else that was similar. And I will probably be, you know, adding that as a, as a daily tangle, um, soon. All right. But this one is, is really cute. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me do this. Let's do four corners and a border. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, I'm talking to myself as you're, you know, patiently waiting for me to get on with it. <laughs> All right. So, uh, this one is neat. Is of course, you know, just like everything's entangled, you can, you know, do what you want. Okay, but here's how this one goes. And, um... Oh, I might add this to the step out. It doesn't matter. But this this is how Cassie did it. Um, starting with like a C-shaped curve line. I'm going to see if I can do it this way. I started doing it a different way after we were playing with it on these couple sessions I had today. And I'll share that with you. Um, okay, so a C-shape, but where it, it kind of ends. It's not a complete... C shape and yes these look like Pac-Man so you're, you're it's like Pac-Man it's, it's like you know uh he's hollow about underneath this okay and then from here we're gonna do a little straight line coming in and then one coming out like that now I found myself oh and then well I'm, I'll finish it then we fill it in we'll just do it the way the the step out has us do it and Speaking of, why don't I get a graphic one here so we can do that quicker. All right, and then to Aura. All right, so that way we got one done the way the step out uh, is laid out. Now, and I did put a note on mine because again, after I was playing with it and because the way I was packing them together, I was I wanted to use a little hollow bow. And if you're going to do that, it might be a lot easier to start with the outer aura first. So kind of drawing it bigger than you think. And then I also found, I found it a lot easier after I was doing it to start with this V part, except that I kept doing it the wrong direction that I wanted it. So that you try, you play and see which way you like to do it. So for instance, this is how I would do it. I would start here and this uh, apparently is going to be bigger. And then I could start my curve line and this might be the outer aura like that. So I've hollowed out just a tad bit underneath there. And then you saw, I, I did put, continue the line because this is why it's important uh if you've if you've watched it well and let me take it back if you've never watched anything that i've done and uh, that where i've explained halibau halibau is the art of drawing underneath and so as you saw i you know i drew my line i picked up my pen because i wasn't going over and then you continue it as if and then put it down where there'll be even if it's just a little bit right like right there it makes a difference okay and then this one if i wanted it to match Oh, and I think I don't, because that's that's no fun. You, you can decide, am I going to aura the inside or the outside? I'm going to do the outside because that's a lot more fun. Let's make it bigger. I've been wanting to make things bigger. And then I would end up just starting there because there's no place for it to continue here. And then we would fill in that center. So this one, and let me, I'm going to just do another one. Let's see if I can do it even bigger. <laughs> Go right off the side here. Yes, like that. Well, this one I think I'll aura inside. I like having that option because that way it's just like if you just kind of go a little too crazy, you can always back it up by doing this and just auraing the inside. 
like that. And then we'll fill those in. So this is it. And I love, and Cassie says, and I, I quoted her on, on my version because she put it on hers. You know, keep adding until you're happy. And that's it. So this could be used as a border. It could be used as a fill in. And then two, you know, just like everything. Oh, actually on her own, on her sample, when she was playing around with it before it had its name, uh, she did like two auras. So you could do two auras if you wish. It just depends on what you feel like doing. And that's what makes everything Zentangle so fun because you can just kind of put your own spin on it and it's perfectly fine and encouraged <laughs> to do. I like to trace sometimes the outline and that way I can just go whoosh, but not too crazy like that because then I go outside the lines and then it's much sadness. <laughs> but I tell you, haven't if you don't have uh, something thicker like a graphic one, uh, I like the graphic one better. It, it, like the tip is softer; it's more like a felt tip um, than the other uh, heavier or thicker microns. Because they, well, I can probably show you if I have. Oh, I do have it handy. So, like for instance, like this is a ten. Yep, it's thicker and it works fine for filling in, but it's just a little bit different than um, than this graphic one. So, highly recommend having, <coughs> excuse me, that in your in your toolkit. Okay, and I think I'll do, we'll do maybe some more up at the top. So this could be a border tangle. It could be just, you know, a fill in, however you want to use it. And that is what makes it extra, extra fun. Well, actually, because like here, oh, wait, wait, I was going to stack one on top, but I think, I think I'll go around the corner <laughs> because that's fun. All right. And I, yeah, and I just, I can't seem to get away from doing it this way. It's like sometimes once you start, then that's that. <clears throat> and we'll go inside this one. So it's a neat, like I said, it's a neat tangle. Lots of interesting versatility. I think I'll, I'll fill them in uh, in a bit. Oh yeah, let's just do all the way around. That's fun. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, and oh, okay, maybe I'll do this one this way. And I was going to see, and I was going to go this way. It's that, that doing the V first, I just, if for whatever reason, I just find I have to really think. Let's see, and if I was coming around oh, like that. And I like to work out, you know, like underneath my string line too, or my border line, because I, again, think it's just really fun. All right, bigger, smaller. Okay, smaller. And, um, but yeah. Just, it's a neat game. <laughs> oh, let's, we'll continue that way. Anyway, and I can continue this as I play, but, or, or, oh, wait, or. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, well, you know what? I, cause I can, I can fit it. You, you get the idea. It's really easy. Let me show you because I do like to, I do like to try to keep these on the quick side because the idea was to actually these started off as uh, uh, the best way I could uh, find to explain uh, a tangle and then I was like oh hey why don't I do that <laughs> and, and you know and you know and then this was born actually it was born a while later because. I didn't do this until, um, like on a regular basis every day until, yeah, a bit later, but anyway, um, super fun. So like I mentioned, you, you have lots of options for how you might want to use this here. So this was our fun that we had in our sessions today, uh, paired it with some other, uh, new, a couple new tangles or tangle critters. And those I will be introducing soon. And, uh, but like I said, we just had a lot of fun. So here I just, I just, you know, scattered some, I didn't know what it, th th this was a, a free for all, uh, absolutely fun session just cause of some stuff going on, um, in my schedule. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was just fun. No, no rhyme, no reason for anything. It was just, I want to make, I wanted to showcase this one and then, then, uh, you know, this emo balls was a second and then this is Bob. 
And so you will see those others later because I have not presented yet th uh, these two. So those will come uh, soon. I might throw some ones in, in you know, in between. But anyway, um, so that was a lot of fun. And then I kind of went on the same lines uh, here, but filled it in a lot more. And then, you know, changing the direction because as I mentioned, well, like here, it was, it was I had intended to do it all one direction. <laughs> And, and then the pen wanted to do something different. This one, <clears throat> and here's a note, if you want to do this and have them hollow bowing so they look like they're stacked, I would start this all the way over here instead of in the middle. So then I was like, well, I'll just go the other direction. That's fine. It doesn't matter. It's all good. Um, but just a lot of, a lot of fun. Really, really cool. All right. So <clears throat> as I fill in these last couple and then I'll, I will continue them. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, would love it if you click on the like button. And if you liked it enough to see more, would love to have you be a subscriber to the channel. Um, if you would like to participate, well, this, this was, well, so I had, I had just cause of some personal things I had scheduling, um, issues and, and then I had to, to redo some things. And so I decided I was going to keep what I had but just add in a day because this was this was a, a, a essentially a paid class that I had to reschedule, and so, and then the, then the day opened back up, and I'm like, well, I'm not gonna flip flop flip flop. So anyway, so for those that that uh, you know uh, you know paid basically for the class got this. It was an extra bonus fun time, and so that's what we did. Um, but we have just as much fun on the free classes. So come and join us for free. Uh, I, there, there's two classes. One is on Thursdays, except for this week. Uh, that'll be on Friday. Normally it's on Thursdays. Uh, I'm in Michigan, so it's uh, 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. start time, and it's just an hour. <clears throat> and we would do something like this where we take a tangle or two, just depends on the tangle, and have is just as much fun with it as we can. And basically what we do, this was more of a free-for-all, but basically it's like, okay, Here's a tangle, here's some ideas, and go. <laughs> and that's what we do. And amazing stuff happens from it. It is so fun. Um, and so if you'd like to partake in that, come and join us, like I said, for, for free. And then if you liked it enough to, you know, plunk down 25 bucks, then great. <clears throat> so, and then also, you know, while I'm speaking of classes and while I'm going to finish this, um... If you have not taken, uh, wrong pen, let's put that back where it goes. All right, there you go. Um, if you've not taken a, um, a beginner's class on Zentangle, if you've not learned what the method is, just an extra plug, uh, on when there's a fifth Tuesday in the month, I, am, I decided to put that class on the fifth Tuesday. So this month of uh, January uh, 2024, because you might be watching this way later, um, has five Tuesdays. So that, I, I do, a, do a special price for that. It's just $15. Um, but come join us. It's a lot of fun. Oh, may, let's see. I'm not sure if I want to, which way I want to go. Oh, doesn't matter. <laughs> um, yeah, come join us because there, there is a whole lot to Zentangle outside of, uh, you know, the beautiful artwork and then sometimes very whimsical like this artwork uh, that happens. There's a whole method and thought process behind it. So um, if you're interested, I just want to let you know um, all that information is on my website. And um, again, would just, you know, would love to have you. I just want to make sure that, that you know that it's there and again that it's on every fifth tuesday uh well at least for now that's that's the way i they have put it so um yeah so we'd love to have you all right um in the description section i mentioned that you would find links to the step outs which you will and then also um and i, I said so i do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle so you will see that and you will also see uh, um, ways to connect with me if you wish or for resources. There's a, um, a link below those called Linktree and that will link you to, to everything that I've put on there, which includes my website uh, where you can follow my blog, Facebook page, 
uh, you, so you can follow me there if you wish. Uh, there I post a lot of the classes and, um, and then we do daily tangle and, and things like that. It's, it's a lot of fun. Also, we have a, a, a Tangle Addicts community Facebook page. And uh, there, we, it basically is continuing the con a conversation. So if you want to, you know, hang out with a bunch of Tanglers, um, share your work, have a nice, safe environment um, to share. There's, I, I don't think I have ever... Uh, seen anyone you know criticize anybody because we all know that's not what Zentangle's about and um, we just have a really great group of supportive people um, on the group so come and join us there are four questions just so you know uh, that you need to answer in order to gain entry <clears throat> and that just kind of sets the tone and make sure we have the um, there's, you know, just kind of an understanding of what, uh, you know, kind of do's and do's and don'ts as far as being, uh, you know, posting and whatnot. Um, and, oh, there's some other places where I post classes, so you'll see that and some other links. It's pretty self-explanatory. So enjoy that. And, you know, I was just thinking, you know, with this, we, we didn't really, there's not necessarily shading per se. I mean, there can be. And so, but I'm thinking for this one, just because I've done it now like this, <clears throat> let's put some shading. Hmm. We'll just do it on the outside of them because that would be fun. If I had left a wider aura, then I think I could have some more fun. So like for instance, um, I did, I filled in these and I left a little bit of shine and then I added some because I could do because it's on with colored pencil. Uh, I did some extra shine with the the jelly roll. I did that on, on both. Although th this one, I did two auras. And then I, I did perfing, you know, around the one. And then I decided afterwards to add a little bit of some, you know, color around the outside. Um, and so that was fun. But So that's, that's the double aura. But this, let's just do this because it's kind of neat. Oh, let's not do that one though. what happens when I'm working on my table and I don't put things okay good away <laughs> putting things away is overrated oh I'm gonna fill in those little gaps with some graphite though oh and we'll do the outside too mm-hmm neat neat all right and without adding any I'm gonna try that first because I can always add some but this is just nice because it just takes the the pencil line, and um, usually in Zent you know I don't I don't normally worry about that. But sometimes it's fun to do this where you just kind of spread it out. Just add from what's left on the tortillon. Like that. Super neat. All right. Again, hope you enjoyed it. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I wish you happy tangling. <laughs>